everyone, this is Tracy from Tracy Art again, and today I am interviewing an artist from my hometown in Taiwan, and he currently lives in Rotterdam, Skylar Chen. Hello, hi Tracy. Thanks for having me in yeah. your channel. Right. Yeah, it's really funny that we don't actually live in the same city anymore, um, but we came in in the middle in London, I'm from New York and he's from Rotterdam. We just flew in to see each other and have this interview. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. London just had a show for you and what do you think about that? It was amazing actually. The, um, uh, I have never shown work in uh, the UK before. And so when um, this opportunity come up with uh, Eve Libby Gallery, approached me and I was like, wow, that's you know, it would be a great, you know, honor to be showing London and yeah, it's been really wonderful. Yeah. And uh, we talked about this a little bit before filming, uh, that you were actually lived in New York for like a year. Yeah. Would you talk about that experience with us? Yeah, so I, um, so I left Taiwan when I was 18 and I studied in the state. Uh, first, I was actually in Utah for six years and later on moved to New York. Um, I lived there for four years and also I did my artist residency there. Um, it was a really amazing experience um, uh, back then. I mean, I, I always felt like New York, it's, it's like a big ocean and being there is it, where you will find who you really are and because when you can find that, you can be able to nav navigate your life in, in the world. Talk about your journey to Rotterdam. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I grew up in Taiwan and, and have lived in America for so long. Both places are uh, very sort of like capitalist world. Um, first time I was in the Netherlands, it was completely different. Um, how people interact with each other um, um, are quite different than what I used to. Um, uh, a bit more socialist setting, but I, I slowly grown me. I think the idea of um, um, the society like that is healthier, and um, I, I the reason I moved there is because my partner is from there, and uh, but I've been living there on and off almost seven years, and I really like it now. And I think it's a, Rotterdam is a great city for artists actually spacious a lot of studios and uh, very creative uh, vibes so i wanted to talk to you about what is your inspiration and what is your technique why the colors are pretty subtle that i see yeah. um so let's talk about that okay so um my work uh, um, right now it's really based on um asian koreanness uh, actually, like it, since 2014, I've been wanting to focus on this subject. And mm -hmm. um, as a gay man and, and grew up in Taiwan, and I'm openly gay, and I always feel like this is the story I would like to tell. But at the time, I didn't feel like I was ready yet, and, and so I, I would start doing a lot of research and. And then 2018, I, it was the, the moment when um, Taiwan was going through marriage equality and I, I, I moved there for four months and I joined uh, this platform and, as an activist. And at that, that experience really enriched me and, and not only that, just talking to um, the younger generation in Taiwan and uh, the LGBTQ community that really, and also like, you know, researching within my own culture, such as Taoism and, and that kind of, all this different thing that I thought, okay, I can, I'm ready to talk about this story, of my own story, about my own past and, and, and um, different elements such as uh, Mormonism, the Taoism and the Koreanness in Asia. And, so yeah, this is basically what uh, my work is about. Would you say painting is your form of like 
you know, describing who you are as a person, what do you do, like sculptures, or is there any other media that you explore and you found really interested in? Yeah, so like all my life, I study art. So I started studying art when I was 16. And, you know, through my, uh, through those experiences, I have basically experienced all different kinds of medias. Um, but I always turn back to painting and painting is to me it is something so so simple but it's so infinite of possibility um, but yeah oh past all my work I have done sculpture video installation audio artwork but uh, eventually I still turn into painting because um, maybe due to growing up as dyslexic and that that you know ver visual language is always very sort of uh, important to me right. and somehow I always turn back to painting and, and especially during COVID I mean this COVID time that I think for me and for many artists they 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 kind of turn back to on their studios they are painting and, and and just having a different conversation in our practice. So. Absolutely. Um, I feel like I know a lot of artists who use quarantine as like the best time to create works and have literally yeah. having a conversation with themselves that they don't have to deal with galleries where collectors were, you know, because everything was silence. And yeah. I think that was like the best few months that could do for artists just to create as much as they can and like explore without noise. Yeah. Yeah. So it was great. It's a it's a it's a cool experience um, for COVID, during COVID. Um, I don't know. I love your work so much, and then they have seemed to be getting bigger and bigger <laughs> <laughs> from the newer ones that I've seen. Like what what what's the idea behind the scale? Um, I love different sizes. I mean, I feel like smaller work has a different intimacy. Um, when you walk into a space, if there's a smaller work, you feel like, you know, it's someone whisper voice in your ear. But um, bigger work to me is, is another thing it feels more present it's like somebody's standing in front of you i like them both um but lately i i, I i've been maybe more into bigger work um i don't know i do like the joy of um, working on larger uh on canvas i guess like the movement that i will sort of you know interact with the painting and to me dancing with creation is so important <laughs> yeah, let's talk about your process yeah. in creating. Um, I know artists who sketch yeah. something out before they actually paint on canvas. I know yeah. artists who do Photoshop yeah. to like rendering. Um, I know artists, there's tons of different ways. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what is your way in creating. Yeah, so for me, I always, I never, sometimes do little sketch on the, on, uh, on the paper. But most of the time, I prefer to directly doing sketch on the canvas. Um, normally, I have an image, uh, what, what, maybe sort of something I want to talk about or some sort of thing I have experienced. There's like a, a message you want. Yeah, and that, 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 there's, a, there's an image will be forming in my head. And when I feel that urge to want to do that, then I'll start uh, painting. But most of the time, the painting was not really exactly what I want because to me, it's also very important to I be able to find, you know, my paint, I'm not a really focused on making really good perspective or line, but what I love is when I did some perspective a lot, the lines, they're not, they're not perfect. I want to make them as good as possible. And to me, that's part of my, you know, practice of, you know, way of thinking, because to me, that's how our life is about. Like, we were born the way we are, but how do we use it as good as possible? 
And then on top of that, um, one one on one painting, there's a lot of different sort of surprises, which is what the cameras tell me, you know, the space or the color, they, they talk to each other. And I have to be able to surrender to that. Like it is, for me, making my painting is about balance with chaos and control. And only when these two work really well together, then I will be totally satisfied with the image. I totally understand. Like sometimes it's just like painting is a conversation to yourself and to mediums that are talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. And I see this painting. Uh, most of the paintings, the heads are, the faces are cut off. Yes. So I know that's on purpose. But <laughs> why? You know, like I, some of my paintings that do have faces and yeah. they do look at you. Um, and I think somehow maybe was this topic that I want to talk about. I want to focus on the, the object, mm -hmm. which is the object that the queer object that I kind of focus on. And there, that's the true identity. Uh, and so like I kind of hidden all the faces, yeah. but you do see um, the faces on the magazines or um, in the different places uh, and that kind of just kind of just talk about that's my real identity which is the queer identity so this is actually <laughs> this painting I when I was start painting it and I I just keep thinking about the story of um, um, a Mormon church we we have a lot of friends that who's openly gay Okay. But they're still married. Oh, with a woman. With a woman. And oh. um, so there's this, I, you, you could be openly gay in Mormon yeah. church, but okay. as long as you still marry, well, you don't have to marry a female, but some people chosen yeah. to, to, to marry someone. Uh, and the wife will know that the husband have a female attraction. Yes. yes. The wife as knows. long as they don't add on it. They don't cheat. They don't cheat, but they can have a feeling for male. Okay, yeah, yeah. But so the neutrally, there's a neutral agreement right. towards this. So I, I painted this sort of like using this story in my head and husband and wife having dinner and obviously the wife knows right. he's gay and all that. Right. The painting is called Honey, which you set up the table for dinner. <laughs> and this is what he said. That's all the stuff that maybe you want to put away. Right. Amazing. So this is... Yeah, this I painting love, is a... <laughs> I love the story behind it. And then I do believe there's all kinds of love and then we're not here to judge. But yeah. this is my story. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Thank and this you. is such a great experience. And I think I'll see you in Beijing. Yes. So, see you next time. Yeah, thank Bye. you. Bye.